Do you want any additional time to think about this? I've been 10 days sitting in the concrete, in the concrete walls. Hampton police were called to 401 Tavern on Lafayette Road in Hampton on November 16th for reports of a drunk man. The caller fearing that person was going to drive away on his motorcycle. When police arrived, they found 42-year-old Brian Foley by his bike and say they were told he threw a glass at a bartender inside. Unable to find Foley a sober ride home, they placed him in protective custody. He told police he had knives on him, and when police uncuffed him to get them, police say Foley began resisting arrest and fought back, and allegedly threatened to kill the officers. Two officers ended up in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. I'm not quite sure why the situation ended up like this, if there was a threat behind me that I didn't know about, but. I felt that I need to protect myself. Foley says the officers didn't identify themselves and that the darkness outside made it tough to make out their uniforms and cruiser, even though he had already been handcuffed. Foley says it was the officers that started to lose their composure first, and he threatened them after they were jostling him around. He says it's important for the court to understand his side of the story, which is why he wants to represent himself with counsel standing by. Currently, Foley is homeless, and if released, he says he would need housing provided. The state has a lot of concerns about the safety of the community if he is released. And the judge did decide to hold Foley in preventative detention. In Brentwood, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.